Hello everyone, my name is Omar from Omar's BI blog and today I'm going to show you how to create a metric selector within a dossier. So here I have a data set, here I have a data set that I've created that is broken down by year with discount, profit and sales. And I'd like to create a metric selector that, that will allow me to select either discount, profit or sales based on my selection. This functionality already exists in documents in the form of a metric selector, but isn't quite as straightforward in a dossier. We can make the functionality work though. So the first thing that I need to do is include a generic attribute, which includes the, the descriptions of the metrics that I'd like to select from. So here I have discount, profit, and sales. So my generic attribute should contain all three of those. For information on how to create a generic attribute, please see the link in the description with the blog post. Now that I have my generic attribute, I'm gonna create a filter. I'm gonna drop my generic attribute directly into that filter. I'm gonna target the appropriate visualization. All right, so now I have my attribute element selector with discount profit and sales included, but it doesn't impact the grid below it. So what I need to do is create a, a metric that will utilize the generic attribute. So let's do that. I go over to my data set. I select create metric. I'm going to switch to formula editor and I'm just going to call this metric and create a case statement. So I say case if my generic attribute ID is equal to sales, then show my sales metric. If my generic attribute ID is equal to profit, display profit. Otherwise display discount. I validate my metric and it's all good to go. And just a quick note, I could have created an additional case statement for the discount. Um, however, seeing as the two, only two options are sales profit and the last discount is sort of a, a if else uh, type scenario. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and drop that onto my grid. Now it isn't gonna make a whole lot of sense initially, but if I drop my generic attribute onto the onto the grid and remove my previous metrics. I now have a metric selector, quickly formatted by dropping the metric names on the top for a more uniform look and feel. And now I can select discount and there's my discount. I can select profit and there's profit. We can make this a little more robust by allowing multiple selections in the filter. And now I can select both sales and profit. For additional details on this topic or to view the original blog post, please click the link in the description below or visit omarvidare.com to see this and other related content. Thanks for watching.